Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ferox and today I thought I'd have a little chat about something that's been on my mind lately because I've been studying it a lot and I'm starting to conclude that the pancreas may in fact be a cryptid. Now I know it's not really a cryptid because it actually exists, but there's a number of similarities and it can't be just a coincidence. First, it's rarely seen. We all assume the pancreas is there, so long as your blood glucose is behaving itself, but we don't actually see the organ itself. It doesn't actually show up on x-ray. You just get these sort of vague, cloudy, hazy images of the region where it's rumoured to lurk, sort of like an aquatic reptile in a Scottish loch. Ultrasound is a little bit better, but most of it is very grainy images and it becomes really difficult to differentiate it from the surrounding fat. Sometimes you'll see a pancreatic duct or a pancreatic vein, but sometimes you just have to take it on faith that it totally exists between the duodenum and the colon. That's not really an organ though, is it? That's just a region. Now, when I was in vet school, which was a decade ago, we were originally told that you'd be very lucky to see a pancreas on ultrasound at all. And if you did see it, it would definitely be abnormal because you can't differentiate it from the surrounding fat. Now science and medicine and particular ultrasonography has come a long way in the last decade. So now it is expected that you'll see the pancreas. But if you do see it and it looks normal, there's a 20 or 30% chance that it's actually abnormal. And if you see it and it looks abnormal, there's still about the same chance that it's going to in fact be normal. So given the difficulty in finding this organ in the first place, I'm not sure why I bother when I might as well flip a coin. Now the pancreas has exactly two jobs. If it fails... Now the pancreas has exactly two jobs. If it fails to do the first one and doesn't produce insulin, your level of glucose in your blood is going to go sky high. Now you need glucose, you need it to live. It's a very simple energy molecule. But when it is too high, that's because it's not getting into the cells. So you can be absolutely flooded with this life-giving molecule and you cannot use a single bit of it. And that will eventually result in death. Now the other job is to produce digestive enzymes. And when that's not happening, you have an animal which can eat whatever it likes, as much as it likes. It can eat all day and gorge itself. And it's still going to starve to death because it can't use that food at all. It can be feasting and still starve. Now, I'm not saying that's a supernatural curse, but it kind of sounds like a supernatural curse. And that was just a naughty pancreas, one that didn't want to do its job properly. It's not even a truly malicious, evil pancreas. There's a relatively rare cancer called an insulinoma. And this pancreatic cancer does more or less what it sounds like. It produces insulin, a lot of insulin, constantly, with no reason or feedback. Now this huge insulin overdose causes the blood glucose levels to drop through the floor. And since you need glucose in your blood to live, this will eventually result in seizures and death. It's an extremely nasty and insidious cancer. And you would think from having such a large effect on the whole body, it would be a big monstrous thing. Wrong. Insulinomas are relatively tiny. Most of them are only about a centimeter or so. Some of them are only pinheads, and they still have this systemic effect that can result in death. Now, if you're feeling very brave, you can find a surgeon to cut it out. But given how difficult the pancreas is to find even on a good day, finding a tiny, tiny little thing inside it is even more difficult. That's assuming that the surgeon is actually willing to go and cut into the pancreas. Because we do get taught in vet school the pancreas has something of a reputation. Now, 
Now the pancreas does have a fearsome reputation. It gets drilled into us at vet school, you really don't want to touch this organ. If you touch it too hard or too much, or even if the animal gets blunt force trauma to its abdomen, it can cause pancreatitis, where the digestive enzymes where the digestive enzymes leak into the surrounding tissue, causing a whole lot of pain and nausea. And pancreatitis can result in death as well. So in conclusion, the pancreas is a cryptid because although we see the pancreas itself very rarely, we see hints and evidence of it on blood work all the time. All the images we have of it are fairly grainy, uh, unconvincing, pictures and it's said to be capable of quite tall tales that sound frankly unbelievable and if you find yourself face to face with one something has gone terribly wrong now, now this video is intended to be humorous and should not be taken as medical or veterinary advice in any context <laughs>